New and four major changes are coming to downtown Huntsville. And today, developers officially kicked off construction for a $220 million mixed-use project. It's across from the VBC. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us now live. So, Emily, you've been following this project for several months. What is the latest today? Yeah, Lauren and Greg. Well, I want you to use your imagination for your second. All right, picture this this empty lot behind me turning into, I don't know, 500 apartments, retail space and office space. Well, pretty soon you won't have to just imagine it. That's because within the last hour, developers officially broke ground on the front row development here off of Clinton Avenue. Now the groundbreaking, of course, marks the official start to this massive construction project. The first phase of the project will bring two six story apartment buildings and thousands of square feet of retail and office space. Later phases might include a hotel and luxury condos. Developers say this is the perfect spot for the project. With all the other improvements and developments happening in the area, they hope it all goes hand in hand. There's the uh, the pedestrian bridge. There's the river walk that's coming, uh, coterminous with our development. The expansion of Von Braun will be coming, which will add to the two million users a year. So it, it, really everything's been lined up together with Huntsville's meteoric rise to uh, make this project a success. Now, rumors about what might go here have been circulating for years, but the project is officially moving forward. Now, of course, if you're like me, you've been driving around lately. You've also noticed that just within the last week, they finally started to put some signs up on here indicating that work is underway. Now, I talk with the developers and they tell me with such a math massive project like this, it's kind of hard to put a timeline on it, but they hope to have the first apartments open by 2026. Live in Huntsville, Emily Mosner, News 19. Now, your weather authority.